Hi folks, we've got more mail! Yay! <laughs> Hi folks, welcome to the second video. I must add fiercely that the shaking of the box, don't worry about it, nothing live in there, it was the enclosures. We've got some lovely acrylic enclosures that have come from Manchester. The 20 by 15 by 15, and they're ideal for jumping spiders and small prey mantises. Maybe your males will fit in them great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a build, get them done on video, show you how it's done. And I must add, as my wife is going to build these, because I have got no patience with flat pack stuff whatsoever. So let's have a look how they built. So here we are folks. We have our box. And we lift them up. There's the sliding door enclosures. I'll just take these out. And then I'll pop them in here. And there we go. Take them around, sorry. And there we have it. Just throw that box to the side. We don't need that. And we don't need the Stanley now. So yeah, these are the enclosures. They come flat packed. They're obviously labelled up sliding doors. I presume the top door ones will come like that. And we'll open them up and have a little look. So I'll just open this one on the side here. They are packaged really well. And I'm presuming it's got some lovely lots of information in there. We'll pull this one to the side. And yes, as we can see, some great instructions there showing you how to build this. We'll turn that over and line everything up. It's got all the screws, so we'll have a look through and we'll build from there.
Alright, so we're back and they're all built and the cracking little tanks must add. We've had the front sliding door ones for jumping spiders as they do stay a lot on the top and you don't want to be disturbing them when they're in the webs. So these are the little sliding door ones. They do do a top opening version. Now these would be ideal for mantises, your smaller mantises as well. And I think you could actually mod these. I wouldn't advise them using for tarantulas because the, the top does lift off. But I suppose one way you could actually mod them is you could change the meshing on it to something stronger and probably add another few holes in the top right, with a drill with some more bolts in and they could probably wait for your younger tarantulas. All in all though, they're a really good tank. They're very, very well built and a lot of ventilation on them. These will be great under the heat source and do well. So we hope you've enjoyed the video, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe and like and if you're feeling really generous, give us a share. Thanks guys, bye.